All right, we want to find the Laplace transform of the derivative of y dt. So again, in that definition, the integral from zero to infinity of y dt to the negative s t dt. So we do this with integration by parts. Um, we'll let u in our substitution. We'll let u equal e to the negative s t. Then du would be a negative s e to the negative s t. So we choose dv to be the dy dt dt. So therefore, this is the same as dy. So d, if dv equals dy, then v equals y of t. So when we do our substitution, we're going to get um, u times v, or it would be um, y of t e to the negative st and we need to evaluate that or i'll just i'll evaluate in a second then we're going to subtract the integral of v du so negative s is just a constant so we'll change this to adding s and then the integral from zero to infinity of y of t e to the negative st all right, so when we evaluate, we need to evaluate this first part as t goes from 0 to infinity. So we kind of want to look at what happens um, to the limit as t goes to infinity of y of t over e to the st and for most functions um, e to the st is basically more powerful um, it will outrace any function when you're taking the limits so for most functions y of t um, this limit will actually equal zero so as t goes to infinity as long as y of t is not some function that's faster than an exponential and we don't run into those very often like t to the t and t factorial and things like that but for normal functions y to the t is the, um, or excuse me e to the st an exponential is way faster so again we use this fact then that as long as this is going to zero then what we're going to be left with would be um, a negative y of 0. So if I plug in 0, I get y of 0, e to the 0 is 1. And then plus s times, well, if we notice this integral that we got after our integration by parts, well, this integral is actually the Laplace transform of y of t by definition. So this is s times the Laplace transform of y of t. So as a result, whoop, sorry, lost you there. As a result, um, we know that the Laplace transform of y prime of t is equal to s times the Laplace transform of y of t minus y evaluated at zero. So this is a huge property of um, Laplace transforms that will allow us to use them to actually solve differential equations, at least first order differential equations, right? Um, but later on we'll so solve higher second order differential. 